Hi guys, so this is my DIY belt uh, keypad that I've built using a fairly simple schematic that I found on the internet. I don't really remember where I found it. And here it is. So that's the schematic that I used to pin. Now I figured out, I found out later that this configuration of pin 135 doesn't matter actually the library handles that so you can set uh, anyone as as you want now instead of getting a keypad like this one which is uh, for me a bit expensive I've based I've gone ahead and made this one this custom or DIY one and it's very similar that one is was uh, 4x4 I can make that as well but I only need 3 or uh, 4x3 so that what I is that that's what I have done over here now after this I've tested it uh, we're gonna find another video with the test of this with the library or uh, the keypad library it's fairly simple and I'm gonna use that as well in combination with the uh, seven segment driver that I've shown in one of my videos in order to build the substitute board project. So um, after I've, uh, as I said, those configuration of pins doesn't matter. So I expected that configuration, and I ended up with this messed up layout over here which where I don't remember which pin goes to each row on each column and in the code you need to set those uh, rows and columns so uh, I found out that uh, if you can just make it like straight like uh, in this order for rows and this and whatever order in columns not like randomly like it's shown in the schematic so I'm gonna build another one. I uh, got some switches over here. They're not identical, but I'm gonna try to make something up. And here are the keypads that I've ended up with. Well, uh, I've built a new one with a male header, and it's this green one. And the wires are uh, in order. So uh, I can now identify which is uh, which row and which column and then the second one I've made it uh, with a female header in order just to use it with Arduino and such uh, as for the code well uh, it's pretty simple you can get this just from the example of the library of the keypad library so you have to include that library and then you set your uh, number of rows and number of columns and after that you uh, initiate an array or a two-dimensional array or matrix with rows and columns and which key which identifies each button with the corresponding character that you want to uh, you want the library to return and then you set uh, the pins the pins that the keypad is connected to on the Arduino so never mind that anyways so um, and after you set those you should uh, do a key map I actually didn't understand the line over there but it just you just have to put it like in there and it works with the with the initialization of the keypad anyway in there you can change the name of your keypad and then work with it afterwards so we'll Starting the serial at nine and uh, nine ninety six hundred baht right, and then we uh, initiate a char 
or declare a char key that will store the value of the key pressed and then we are just displaying that to the serial monitor and that's pretty much it, it's pretty easy, you can send it by your on your own just use the example and there are some other examples if you like so yeah that's pretty much it I think that's all and thanks for watching